Hey guys, Stefan here from projectlifemastery.com. In today's video blog, I want to talk to you guys about a concept called uh, offering value as opposed to taking value. And this is a concept that I used to actually teach a lot and it's kind of like a core a uh, component of my life that I used to teach years ago um, back when I was like in meeting people mode and, and dating and stuff like that. And I find that a lot of people, like one thing that holds them back in their life, especially when it comes to meeting people, networking, uh, even business or even in a career or anything, really for that matter, relationships, is there's so much in a mode of trying to get from others, of what I call taking value in some way. And I've experienced this firsthand and that's kind of part of the reason why I'm creating this video because I've noticed that since I've had this blog and my YouTube channel and I've been putting out these videos for you guys and I've created the courses and some books and stuff and I've been putting out all this value, you know, all this free content on my blog and everything as a way to contribute, I've noticed a big shift in my relationships with other people. Um, I've noticed a big shift of just people around me and attracting certain people into my life. Because what happens is, especially now since I've been sharing my goals, my progress, even how much money I'm making, my lifestyle and stuff, I do that more out of inspiration to try to you know, help people and inspire you guys and also just be transparent with myself to, to measure my goals and just you know, add value to you guys in that way as well. Um, but also just benefits me by looking at my goals, analyzing things, making my commitments public so I'm more accountable to it and everything. But what's happened when I've done that is people's perception of me has shifted. A lot of people now, they see me, I guess, you could say as like a high value person, you know, or like a high status person because they perceive me as successful or I live in a penthouse or something like that, you know, and really I'm not. I'm just a regular guy. I'm just no different than you guys. I just took a lot of action. I, I was motivated and committed to my goals. I went through a lot of failures and hard times and everything, but I just stuck at it. And there's no reason why you couldn't do the same uh, thing as me, or if not better, if you just kind of go through that same process and keep improving yourself and growing and, and going through the process that I went through. So there's really nothing special about me, but people in society, they associate um, you know, money and success, all those sort of things to a uh, higher status, um, a higher status person. And since I've kind of, I guess, been one of those people now in society, and even just having a blog and everything, I kind of put myself in a position of being an authority because a lot of people, I guess, follow me or listen to me and stuff. What's happened is their perception has shifted. And when the perception shifts, people's behavior shifts as well. And so, for example, one thing that I've noticed is all of a sudden people want to hang out with me more. Just people that I know on Facebook and my uh, immediate circle of friends and everything, not including people that are on my blog and all that stuff. That's a totally different story, but just people in my life, people that I met years ago, people that were acquaintances, they want to hang out with me now. They want to, they're messaging me on Facebook all of a sudden out of the blue to get together for coffee or go for lunch or they want to meet with me to pick my brain or people want to know, um, this is a common one, people that I've known for years, years ago that I don't even know that well, they're like, all of a sudden trying to be my friend and they're like, hey, can you show me how to make money online and how can you show me how to um, you know, get into this Kindle stuff? And I say, hey, you know, well, I, I created a course for this purpose, so I have a course that can actually teach you. But like, no, 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 I wanna meet with you for coffee and ask you all this stuff. And I'm like, I've got a course that covers all this stuff. You know, it goes into everything more detail. It has more than what I could share with you just meeting with, you know, with you for coffee. But they don't wanna invest money and they, they think I'm gonna give it to them for free or help them for free and basically just you know, give them free coaching and free advice and all that sort of stuff. And I've, so that's kind of part of the experience that I've noticed shift just with people in my life. And at first it was kind of annoying, you know, it was kind of frustrating in a way because where were these people years ago? You know, none of these people really wanted to hang out with me um, as much as they do now years ago. Um, even with women and dating and stuff, all of a sudden girls want to hang out with me more. They want to come over. Um, when I had a house party here last month, over a hundred people showed up. You know, a lot of these same people, a lot of these same girls and stuff, I invited to my house parties before my other apartment, but none of them showed up. So now all of a sudden they want to show up, they want to hang out, um, they want to come over. And it's just a much different experience. And again, I, I was frustrated about it. I was kind of like, you know, why is this? Are people just shallow? Are people just materialistic? Are they just using me? Are they taking advantage of me? You know, why is this happening? And I realized I can't really judge these people for it because in many ways, 
I'm the same way. Um, you know, for me, when I was younger, when I was struggling in my life, I looked up to people that were more successful than I was. I looked up to people that I followed on YouTube or bought their courses or their products and stuff like that. And I, you know, knew some of these people and I wanted to be around them. You know, I wanted to go for dinner with them. I wanted to hang out with them. Um, I kind of a little bit was in that mentality of trying to take, trying to get and take value. Um, but I learned a really powerful lesson from a friend of mine. I'm gonna share that with you guys in a little bit. But um, I've noticed though that like I can't judge these people, you know, because I used to be the same way. Or even I guess with dating too, you know, I'm I'm more attracted to, to a woman that is beautiful than one that isn't as beautiful. I'd much rather talk to or take out or hang out with a girl that I'm really attracted to and it's beautiful as opposed to one that isn't, you know, and maybe you could say that I'm shallow, you know, because Maybe if this girl wasn't as beautiful or wasn't you know a certain way or whatever, then I wouldn't really want to um, hang out with her as much. So I realized you know I can't really judge for that because I think people, their nature is to gravitate towards people of higher status. It goes back to the caveman days and everything where there's an alpha male in the tribe, the leader, and we want to ensure our survival and by being associated with that person, it's gonna ensure our survival for years to come. It's gonna ensure the survival of our offspring, of our babies and stuff like that. You know, even women, biologically, they want to procreate with men that are of higher status because it ensures the survival of their offspring. So can I fault people for that? Not really, you know. Um, I think it's just human beings' nature. And for me, at least, I, I'm aware of this kind of stuff that's, that's shifted. Um, and I still try to come from a place of love and, and accepting people and understanding where they're coming from. But the one thing that I wanted to talk about um, more so in this video um, was the offering value part and the taking value. So a lot of people that I've noticed, just those friends, people on Facebook and stuff, they're coming from a place of taking value. They have this expectation that I should help them um, and I should give them free coaching advice and they're trying to get, they're trying to take, they're kind of like these leeches that just try to suck from you. And they're not really considering your life, your schedule, your, you know, what's going on. They're more thinking about themselves. You know? um, and it's the same thing I've noticed too, just even you know, people on my blog, um, people that follow me, people that watch my videos and stuff, people that buy my Kindle course, is they maybe invest in my course or watch my videos and stuff, but then they expect me to be able to help them one-on-one -on -one and, and send me all these emails and questions and a whole list of them and ask for coaching and advice and I should give them feedback on this and that and everything. And as much as I love to do that and I do um, still do that and everything, people are coming, at, are coming from a position of still trying to take and trying to get something from you or they have this life problem that they want you to solve and they'll want to email to you and ask you questions and stuff. And my different approach that is worth considering for you that I learned years ago from a friend of mine and a mentor was to always come from a position of trying to add value to others. Okay, because generally when you try to take from others, people get repelled by that. They don't want to be around that, you know? Um, I think about it in a way, you know, like if you go to a bar or a club or something like that and there's a beautiful woman there, most guys that approach her are just trying to get something from her, you know? They're trying to sleep with that girl or get her phone number or get a date or something like that. And that's why a lot of these, you know, a woman at a bar might be, have a guard up, you know, she might be a little bit closed off. People might perceive her as being standoffish or whatever. And it's not that she is, it's just that she has so many guys that are just trying to take and get something from her that eventually you would do the same thing as well. You know, I know for me, when I went to Thailand and started traveling, you have so many people that approach you to ask for money, right? Even here in Vancouver, you know, you walk down the street, there's homeless people that come up to you and once you get that again and again and again, you put up a guard and you're just like, you just kind of ignore them. You know, it's not that you're trying to be rude or mean or something like that, but you just have so many people that try to get from you and take and ask you stuff and ask you for money, all this sort of stuff that you put up those walls. You know, so the other approach is adding value. So what I learned from this friend is that everyone that you meet, okay, a successful person, you're at a seminar, um, somebody that you follow on a blog, you know, a course or whatever, instead of trying to get from them and ask for your questions and get help from that person, instead first come from a position of trying to add value to them. Okay, so take yourself out of the equation. Stop focusing on you. Focus more on how you can serve the other person. And so when my, uh, my friend told me that when you go to a seminar or a networking event, most people, they try to sell themselves, right? They give out their business card, 
um, you know, and all that sort of stuff, which usually always goes in the trash. That's why I don't do business cards. And so what he taught me is that when you approach people and you meet them, you wanna ask them this question. What's the best way for me to contribute to your life? Okay, what's the best way for me to contribute to your life? And you ask them that question and I guarantee you, they don't get that question a lot. Most people are trying to take from them so much, especially people that are of higher status, that they don't have a lot of people that come from a place of just trying to help them first and add value to them first. Okay, so ask that question. Come from, from that approach of trying to add value and say, hey, how can I add value to your life? What's the best way for me to do that? If you do that, okay, if you add value to someone, guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna wanna be around you. They're gonna be drawn to you. They're gonna wanna spend time. They're gonna wanna help you because you're coming from a place of not trying to take but to give. Same thing in a relationship, guys. A relationship is a place you go to give, not to get. Same thing in meeting someone. You know, If you see an attractive woman there, instead of trying to get something from her, focus on how you can make her smile, how you can make her day, how you can make her feel good and guess what, she'll wanna be around you, she'll wanna give you her phone number, she'll wanna go on a date, she'll wanna be in a relationship with you because you're somebody that's a source of giving and adding value to others as opposed to getting. Okay, so that's another perception to look at things, guys, that will change your life if you apply it. Be, be a giver, don't be a go-getter, be a go-giver. Be someone that adds value. Don't be a leech that just tries to suck energy from people and um, try to suck value from them, but rather be in a position where you add value because when you do that, it will just totally change everything for you.